capital lost. The unthinkable has happened as a good omen starts playing. The greatest, the greatest stronghold of the minions of evil has crumbled before the power of Mordor's enemies. Battle Duor is no more. There seems little now will save the evil Ma Maya, and surely his total destruction will soon follow. That is written weird. Uh, no thank you. Gorgoroth lost. The winds slowly move the ash along the valley of Udun, and further along the Morgul road. In the distance, the ash mountains and the mountains of shadow fill the sky with their black peaks. Between the mountain ranges on the, wa on the wastelands of Gorgoroth, campfires burn bright. Songs of victory can be heard from the camps of the foes of Mordor. Barad-dur has fallen. The bodies of orcs, Urukai, and trolls alike fill the channels and fissures which spread along the plateau. The high tower is breached and has all but collapsed. The Dark Lord is greatly diminished, but not yet destroyed. As long as the One Ring exists, his spirit endures. The tower's foundation was laid with its power and cannot be unmade while it remains. The agents of Shadow will eventually return and the armies of darkness are sure to follow. Yep. And welcome back to Third Age Total War. As Dale has been destroyed! My god. Wow. Okay, that's unexpected. Kind of forgot that, uh, that things were going down in the rest of Middle Earth while I was busy kicking ass. Okay, let's build stables here. Guess that's it. All right, Jamili, me and Far March Farchmorth. Farchmorth, yes, Farchmorth. To Morgost. For while Dale may have fallen, Baradur has fallen. And soon will fall the rest of Mordor. Also, by the way, I fig finally figured out where the heck Eastern Nurn was. It's here, right? But it's enveloped by Western Nurn. How does that make any sense? Could someone please tell me how that makes sense? Please? Maybe? Alright, let's move uh, Glander the Clever down to the south to Morgost. Shall we? Shall we? We shall. Alright, so... I must admit, actually, that the, um... That the battle for, uh... For Baradur was underwhelming, but that was partially because, of course, I lured out the original, um, the original garrison. Um, yeah, basically I lured out the original garrison, if you may recall. You know, and uh, basically there was two ways I could have played it. I could have played it to get the cool big battle for Baradur. Or I could have, you know, I could have played it, um, the cool way, or I could have played it the smart way, and I chose the smart way. You know, luring the defenders of Baradur out so that I can minimize casualties. Now, you consider the fact the war is not over simply because I seized the, you know, the Black Tower, I think tells you every th everything about whether or not that was a good idea. Basically, I have no regrets. Um, let's see what's over here. Plains of Lith... Okay, this is still Lith Lad. Where does this go, I wonder? I gotta be careful, I'm gonna, uh, as soon as I take, uh... Yeah, there's a high chance I'm gonna, like, you know, take, um... Yeah, I'm gonna start bordering Khan in a minute. Or not in a minute, like, as soon as I take one of the eastern regions of Mordor. I wonder where Sauron is. I, I'm assuming Sauron is around somewhere since he got the ring back. You know? I mean, I mean... I mean, in case you forgot about that, yeah, remember, he has the one ring again. So... I think that, I think that begs the important question of... Where the hell is he, and is he going to kill us all? <laughs> anyway. In the meantime, let's just march on. Uh, in the meantime, I made, it, made a spy here. I'm going to be able to diplomat here. Since Sipantian, um, Sipantian, you know, betrayed me. Some turns ago for Mordor. You know, it's like, Hey, you know what you want to do? What do I want to do? I want to join the loot. You want to join the losing side? I want to join the losing side. All right, woo! Yeah! You know, basically, um, yeah, I'm, I, I can't say I'm particularly impressed my diplomat doing that. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, look, look at him. He's just standing here like I don't see him there. I see you, you asshole. Traitorous bastard. Oh, hello. Corsair ships. Bet we'll lose. Well, maybe, maybe not. Oh, we won! We won! Whoa! Whoa, we, we just smashed him! Smashing! Nice. Very nice. 
Very, very nice. Nice job, Admiral Caradurand. Car or something, I don't know. I'm guessing that's what it is. I mean, I mean, why wouldn't it be, right? Okay, let's retrain the boats now. I'm surprised, they didn't, I'm surprised the boats themselves didn't gain any experience. I mean, I think they would. But anyway. You know, smashing um, and a two experience, and uh, rather a uh, five and six experience uh, ships, you know. You think they'd, think they'd uh, get something out of that, but uh, apparently not. Hello, Captain Tom Rubin. Hey, look, it's another Captain Tom Rubin. Never mind. Or else uh, the previous Captain Tom Rubin has uh, come back from the dead. Like five times in a row. Because that makes sense. Shut up. Okay. So, all right. Let's train a ballista there, I guess. Um, I believe we have 13 turns left on the Eldar when we Lancers. Yeah, I'm definitely going to engage in a battle. Yeah, 13 turns left. I'm definitely going to find a battle to engage in so I can see what they're like. Because uh, based on their stats and the fact that they're heavy cavalry and everything, uh, they're, liable to be, they're liable to be amazing. You know, uh, 53 of them per troop, too. That, that means that they'll pretty much smash anything they hit uh, in a charge. Uh, I think even trolls included, they'll smash, you know? I mean, if Teleri Riders can kind of, you know, even if, if Teleri Riders can even kind of luck out and kill a few trolls on a charge, I'm pretty sure the Eldar Women Lancers won't have much trouble doing it, so. All right, let's uh, get Admiral Manastian up to the port. That's not quite the port. There we go. It's uh, Captain What's-His-Face and Captain Draugmanian. Wow. You, sir, have way too long of a name. And let's see. And finally, the forces out of Londair. Okay. And this army will also be sent to deal with the Hara Dream. Because the Hara Dream are being a pain in the butt. In the buttocks. Let's see, over here... Yes, here is Polengolder, who will be also heading toward Harad. Hmm, I wonder if I actually should send him up the Anduin to, uh, to strike at, at Kelkar here. Or should I strike at, strike at Amrum? It's, it's one of two choices, and they're not, neither are bad choices in this case, really. Kajba Pezarsan. Yes, Pezarsan is over here. This castle here. Hmm, interesting. I just realized that most of Harad's remaining settlements are... Uh, not most, uh, but a sizable portion of them are uh, actually rather small. Two castles and one large town. And they have still have three large cities, but that's half and half. That's not too good. Yeah, that's... Uh, As you may have noticed, you know, they weren't able to follow up their, uh, their massive strikes against me with, you know, follow-up massive strikes, so... I'm pretty sure that most of Harad's power is currently depleted. Um... And now how long that will last, of course, is a different question. And in fact, it actually probably is an argument for me to take Vanafendon here and, uh... Take Vanafendon here and, um... You know, um, attack. But his army's kind of on the battered side, so I don't think that would be a good idea. My lord? I, I guess it wouldn't be an awful idea either. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I could take some of these forces out of Tirethride and do something with them. You know, that's a brilliant idea. Why are you so smart, me? Yes, my lord. Come on! Okay, let's on. see. Um. Bu 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 Okay, we'll take, we'll leave the, um, weaker units here. Weaker and experienced units. Nostalian! Yes, Captain Nostalian! Why do you keep calling me a stallion? Am I mispronouncing your name? Nah, I'm just kidding with you. Oh, I hate people. 
Anyway. Okay, enough enough stupid monologues I'm done. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um let's see us. Five archer groups, three infantry groups, one cavalry group, okay. And two siege wen and wengeons. It's two siege wengeons. When did I become Pavel Chekhov? Um. Let's see. I can shift some of this infantry here. So shift, not shit. Shut up. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll take another archer group. And have an Amphandon strike at Kelkar. Meanwhile, down in the south here. The Thonny and the Harsh. Frankly, could stand to march himself, um, but he's a little on the beat up side, and there's too much risk, I think. So, well, I just have to wait for uh, Polengulder to arrive in a few turns before I do anything in the south. Um, I think what I can do though is take some of the, uh, take a bit of the remaining garrison from Tier Ethride and send them into Imilad Karnen just in case the uh, enemy decides. Hey, look! He's leaving that vulnerable! Let's attack him! And I'm gonna be like, Yeah, let's not do that. And they'll be like, Too late! And I'll be like, Fine, I have to kill you then! And they'll be like, No, you won't! And it's like, You guys do not learn from history, do you? No. Anyway. Okay, enough silly voices. I really have to say... <laughs> that is, uh, that's the second silly voice tangent I've gone off on, on, uh... In... And as, and as many minutes, that's kind of weird. You know, usually I don't do that many silly voices. I usually just do, like, one or two silly voice gags and... And then continue, but... Not today, apparently. Okay. Libyan... Gandhi in the mean! Go, mean Gandhian! Go, attack Captain Yagdush! Okay, now attack Captain Yagdush again. Engage! There we go! Now you can't run away, you cowardly coward, coward, coward. Coward pants. Alright, the orcs are probably going to attack instead of uh, hanging back because I have the absolute. because I have uh, backed them into a metaphorical corner. So, that to that effect, we'll deploy the archers up here, sort of. That's sort of an up here. And we'll put the um, infantry in a bit more of a bowl here. I'm not gonna do much in the way of fine-tuning the formation, really, because it's so because so few orcs compared to my archers and compared to the strength of my infantry. So, begin. It's not really a bowl, is it? It's more like a shallow depression. Yeah, the orcs are gonna advance because they really have not much choice. They can't retreat or anything. So, wait. Or they reform me, I can't tell. No, nope, they're withdrawing. They're falling back. Double speed, so we can get a little something out. Okay, fall back, fall back, fall back because it's counter attacking. Go back! Watch out, enemy arrows! What are you doing, one guy over here? 
Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, come on! They're orcish arrows! Should be causing that much cat inflicting that many casualties. Time to break the orcs. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yes, they have. Ah, snap. They just shot a bunch of my fellow swordmasters in the back. All right, I'm gonna end the fight now to avoid further casualties. Looks like you recovered most of those horsemen, it looks like. Yeah, I recovered most of the horsemen, good. Everything else is kind of... can go. Okay, I know a good omen played right at the beginning of this episode. What the hell? Seriously. Uh, execute! Yeah, relations worsened with the orcs of Mordor. Okay, the shadow of Mordor. The point remains. Now go forth, Gandian. All right, let's see. I do think it's a good end for the uh, turn. So, I'm going to save again. I don't think there's anything else I have to do right now, but we'll find out in a moment. A candidate for adoption. No, Stadion. Um, not really, though. New mission! By all rights, this settlement should be under our authority. It is a mockery for it to be held by our rivals. The council suggests you send a diplomat and intend to have them handed over. You may be able to offer them a settlement that is less valuable to us in exchange. Ah, uh, they want me to t uh, oh. Yeah. They want me to take the other, uh, Southern Hammer Dream, uh, settlement. With diplomacy. I'm sure they'll end well. Agent detected. A fort agent has been executed outside of the Orc camp. Okay. End of term report. Okay. Faction announcements. Iradon the Just. Musician and... and as, uh, Iradon the Just musician? Okay. 
an Etiarian. Etiarian? Oh, he's a switch. Oh, no, he's, oh, he's a natural mediator. He's bilingual. He didn't get any negative stats for uh, being in an almost pure elven culture region. Cool. And he has a swift steed, so he moves faster. 15 uh, movement points and plus one to public. Pu plus one to public health. What? The hell? Yes, because I'm sure the presence of horse crap in everyone's drinking water uh, really lends itself to the uh, health of the public. Approaching their dick. Always kay. happy to deal with you, trusted let's, um Let's make a demand uh, map information for a single payment of one. No, um. Let's just make a 2000 with this. Make offer. Because I want to see what their map looks like. I accept this wonderful deal with pleasure. Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Yes, you approve of the Kingdom of Rohan, and now very good. Okay, let's see. Ah, so the. Ah, so the Fangorn. Okay, the ends. Okay, the. Okay, Rohan took here, and the remnants of Fangorn still controlled here. There. Okay, I see it now. I understand. Yeah, I figured I'd get some exploration of Middle Earth done in the uh, in the aftermath of the seizure of Baradur. You know, uh, you know, change our focus a little bit as we wait for our final victory. Oh, what's this? Rebel general elves at war. Hadi in the profane. That's that's new. I don't think I've ever seen an elven rebel general. Kadas Nurnalad. Okay, let's give it at Rhodes now. Dusalon, army barracks. Okay, let's give it an armor. Tirathride, warehouse. So let's give it army barracks. Um, Eisenmount, artist studio. Okay, can't build anything else. Baradur, artist studio. Gallery then. And let's see, a recruitment report. Ballista uh, diplomat. Ballista th okay, I'll see if the The Numen Amar. Okay, let's see what these orcs are coming from here. With this Captain Sauron. <laughs> uh, still, not, still something hilariously ridiculous about that. Um, alright. Interesting, there's a road leading north from here. Approaching quietly. And the plane of this lad is a lot it's a large region. And the second I take that castle, it means okay, this okay, at least the plague lands, I see. The plague lands are the eastern border of Mordor, it looks like, with the rest of Khand, and probably Rune as well. well I guess you could send sa uh, Sailder here to uh to Harad to see if we can't um, force their hand. Assuming it would let me select him. What the hell? I saw, I'm pretty sure I selected him. At least I thought I saw his uh, picture. It's without question. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Okay. Gibran that just appears to be um, expanding his army. Approaching quietly. Slowly but surely. Dismounted serpent guard, serpent guard. You know what your uh, layout is. For the light! Captain there. I'll figure out what to do with the nap now in a moment. Or I'll forget and I'll do it next turn, one or the other. Okay, let's see. I just whacked my microphone. If you heard any scratching, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't think there's much to do right now. Okay, Millennium moves really slowly with these siege weapons. Over here, elves! That's so much Order vexing. Completed. My lord. My lord. 
Okay, let's save. Because we shall not lose Glander the Clever to stupidity. Yes, but... Good thing we did. Okay, Malthak the Cruel. Okay. He controls a big force in Morgoth, the Captain Gurkrog. Controls a semi decent force. It means mostly, it's almost entirely, in fact, regular orcs. Um, you know, the Mornan Guard are probably the most dangerous, and even then they're, you know, regular orcs. Sire. It'd be different if they were Ulrichs, but they're not, so. And in fact, trying to take the plane of Lithlad seems like a very bad idea, since it'll put me in direct contest with Rune. As it stands, I'm not exactly sure the borders are, um, because I know I border, I know I border the old Rune Road, he Rune Road he uh, here, Rune Road, rather, uh, with, uh, Eastern Gogoroth, so, Gorgoroth, so. That may mean I'm already on Rune's radar, but I'm not entirely sure, um, if impassable terrain like low mountains and the like, um, like, affect whether or not the AI considers it, considers potential invasions, of territories like mine into its calculations. Because really, it can't invade it. You know, really, uh, Mordor can't invade us right now. Um, or uh, rather, Rune can't really invade us right now without crossing through Mordor, or without, uh, you know, trying to cross through Mornin. And I th would assume the AI would be programmed in a way that it would either factor it out completely, or those factors would be too much, um, would be like, too big of a uh, problem for the AI to proceed. So, all right. Anyway, I must admit, actually, that I'm actually a little bored. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode now and come back to this probably in a personally. You know, you won't be seeing this episode for a few days, but I'll come back to it in a few in a couple of days myself when I have a little more interest in finally completing the War of the Ring. So I want to thank all of you for watching. I would ask you to like, to comment, to subscribe. You know, you can check the annotations and so forth for further videos. Uh, the upper right and upper left corner, as always, are uh, elements of the particular series. The bottom right uh, has uh, links to other projects I'm currently doing or have done. So, again, thank you for watching. I will catch you next time as the forces of Linden invade the land of Mordor and pretend, pretend, uh, well, protect themselves against the land of the Hara Dream. Until next time, everyone.